dressing is incredible. So I'm going to start off the vlog in the bathroom at King's Cross. I am basically on my way over to Durham with my whole entire family. My brother actually goes to university over there. So we're going to go over there and spend practically the weekend. It's Saturday morning right now. We're going to be back tomorrow night, so it feels like it's going to be about 24 hours, but it's basically two days. Yeah, we're just going to go drop off some bits and bobs and then make our way back so my brother doesn't have to take everything on his own. Not too sure how much we're going to get done there, but I am very excited. We were traveling mountains just to find out. So we just got to Durham. We literally spent like 10 minutes trying to get an Uber because it's super busy. I think there's some sort of open day going on for Durham University. That is where my brother goes, by the way, but he's second year. So obviously we don't have any open days or anything. We just came to help him put all of his items in his new accommodation because obviously it's really hard coming on his own from like Essex to here. So that's why we brought everything over with him. We just got keys to his accommodation. He's not staying in the uni flat. He's actually got his own flat with a bunch of friends i believe i'm gonna do a little room tour for you guys and show you this place and i guess when he moves out next year if anyone is gonna go durham university you guys can ask me and i'll tell you where he's staying exactly yeah what i'll do is i'll show you kind of walking inwards and then i'll go through some of the rooms and show you like the kitchen and the bathroom and his bedroom but it's quite cool to see how different all the unis are and all the houses are in different places let's just start off over here when you go in through this door on the left hand side there is a bathroom i'm not sure if i mentioned this earlier but i think there's four people sharing this flat i thought he got a house or a different type of flat but i i don't know i'm a bit confused it kind of reminds me of accommodation like student accommodation but in a university but further out i don't know i'm a bit confused by it because it doesn't really look like what i thought it would however yeah he's he's staying with four of his friends so this is the first room boiler little radiator but first bathroom then this one over here is one of the rooms. I think someone might be in there, so I'm not gonna go in. This is another room. I'm not gonna go in here either. And then another room over here. This is the kitchen. Now, the color scheme is very gray, neutral, and white. We've got a table over here, a little notes board. I wanna call it a bulletin board, but it's a bit different, but let's just call it that. I think all the lights are on. There's some chairs over here. They just remind me of like beanbag chairs. This overlooks the garden. There's a little bench outside. There is a TV for all the movie nights they can have. Two fridges, which is good. I'm guessing, yep, two. I'm guessing they're both fridges and freezers. I've actually not looked through everything, so this is the first time I'm looking through. That's good. Honestly, for four people, that's more than enough. And then, let me just show you. So it's a little bit more narrow, but we've got one oven over here cooker a microwave a kettle and quite a lot of cupboard space and then obviously the sink a little rack for all the plates and dishes given some fairy liquid and some sponges as well these are more cupboards with some keys at the top and yeah that's pretty much the whole thing I'm not really too sure how much we're going to be doing in Durham because I'm not sure if I mentioned this earlier, but we are only here practically for the rest of today. We're going to stay over in a hotel tonight and then tomorrow we're going to be here. I kind of feel like till the evening ish or like afternoon, late afternoon, and then we're going to get on a train and head back to London. So yeah, we aren't here very long, so I don't really know what we're doing. We might just be, you know, trying to make this place a little bit more homely. We might pop into town and pick up a few bits. I feel like his room is a bit chilly, that's just me. So I told him that he needs to get a little like rug on the floor. But yeah, I am gonna show you the room. What I might do, like my grand and my brother's in his room right now, so I might just pop into one of the other rooms just for you guys to see it. Things like this is so exciting. It's so nice to see. My brother is in such a great university. I'm so proud of him. It's really exciting to 
to come and experience these moments with him and kind of see his accommodation every year. I came last year, we drove here, we did like a little mini road trip, took like six hours. And this year we just decided to get on a train and come. But um, I, I absolutely adore Durham. I don't know what it is. I think it's such an adorable little town and it's just so quiet. <laughs> and there's kind of not much to do around here, but I love it. So yeah, I'm very happy to be back. But now let me show you the room. No, it's me. Over here we have the second bathroom. Oh, that's very dark. Is it gonna work? Um, I think it's gonna take a billion years to turn on. Okay, so yeah, this is the second bathroom right next to my brother, which is perfect because when you're living with multiple people, I swear to God, bathrooms are so frustrating. I'm currently living in an ensuite, and if I got standard halls, I would go crazy. So I'm happy about this. Sorry, guys, this isn't turning on. I don't know what to do, but anyway, sink, toilet. The other bathroom down there basically has the shower. So if you wanna have a bath, you'll have to go down there. Sorry, I just got stopped earlier, but I was saying that my brother's room is the exact same layout as this. Only difference is that he can fit a double bed. This is obviously just a single bed, but all my family is in that room, so I don't want to move them out because <laughs> this isn't even my uni, so I don't really want to be rude. Yeah, so he's got a double bed here. He's got the same mirror. He's got a window, and the only difference for his one is that his um, bulletin board thing <laughs> is like basically here. I just realized that it's a, it's a little bit different. Maybe when everyone walks out, I'll give you a quick little 360 of his room, but it is very similar. So guys, we just kind of walked into this room over here. This is not my brother's room. I don't know. I thought all of the rooms were the same, but apparently not. This one is so much better. Look at the layout of this, okay? So you walk in over here and then you've got your bed, double bed, I think. It looks a bit weird. We've got a chest of drawer and a whole wardrobe with two drawers at the bottom a little mini radiator, the mirror. And I really like this little section over here because it's got a table, a chair, the shelving at the top. It's kind of like what I had last year and oh, also a little bulletin board. Yeah. So it turns out four of the bedrooms are pretty much very similar. And then one of them is a little bit different. It's the one that I just showed you. And I definitely think that that was better. So we're gonna try and see if my brother can change to that room because he he studies like all day he literally i mean you can't get into this uni without doing stuff like that but we're gonna see if he can switch because i think it'll be a lot nicer for him i prefer the layout and so does he so does my parents so that's what he's gone down to talk to the um landlord about and hopefully fingers crossed they give that room to him a little update we've now helped my brother unpack his kitchen things his bedroom things and also his bathroom items the kitchen stuff he's kind of over there obviously i don't know if he's got everything because we live far so we obviously can't bring absolutely every single item but he's put away quite a lot of stuff my family are in the other room so can't vlog in here right now and i think that's that's it for the kitchen but obviously his bedroom we've unpacked all the pillows the duvets we've unpacked his clothes and we're gonna head into town and pick up a few bits for him because he needs to be a little bit more homely and um yeah that's what we're here for so we're gonna leave now and check into our hotel where where am i supposed to go and then take a picture look let's see oh my god these rocks how do you walk on this yeah just down just taking a picture you can go down here but it looks proper like steep is this just a castle that's the castle and the cathedral is uh, the taller thing. Oh, okay. Good morning. I'm going to sit on this little um, bit over here that basically overlooks the hotel and the car park so today is going to be a slightly slower day i don't know how much is actually going on today well should i say i don't really know how interesting it will be today because in about five and a half hours we're going to just go back to the train station and then make our way home we've done everything that we mostly need to do yesterday which was helping my brother actually unpack and settle in as for today we're going to just go back and get our suitcases that we left there last night just because we knew that we would have to check out of the hotel kind of around 12 and then we still had five hours 
of the day to go so yeah we left all of our luggage there we are gonna go grab some breakfast slash lunch maybe some brunch i'm not really sure what exactly is going to be going on apparently oh hang on let's let's sit this way but um apparently there's a really nice place to eat i think they do just breakfast they do like waffles and pancakes and they do eggs and all of that stuff so if you know me you know i'm a brunch fanatic and i absolutely love breakfast well i love having brunch <laughs> i don't really love breakfast but i love the idea of it having it kind of later on in the day so that is what we're gonna go and do and sorry i'm kind of looking out because everybody's staring at me like there's people on the side here there's people on the side there there's people at the back there that just walked and they're stopping and they're like oh what's she doing i'm hoping fingers crossed that the time is actually gonna go fast i'm just so tired i kind of just want to go back home so i can then continue with my time and my time includes me going back to my uni and beginning my lesson so i need to go back home on monday morning and then i'm gonna start my lessons oh it's just a really big kerfuffle so yeah i need some time <laughs> to myself i hope you've been enjoying the vlog so far i've definitely enjoyed filming for you guys so i've just placed my camera down i know it's a bit wonky let me see if i can fix it is that gonna work so i've worn this um marble top over here with some black jeans and uh, some trainers <laughs> the issue is guys it is gonna rain today okay it's gonna rain today and i kind of checked the weather but then it changed yesterday so then when i packed for myself i was like oh you know i don't need to bring extra like jackets and hoodies and all of this stuff the only thing that I wore yesterday that I still obviously have with me right now is this sort of um well it literally just reminds me of like a teddy bear slash kind of like a sheep I feel like I look like a black sheep when I wear this this is the only thing that I have with me so I know I'm gonna be cold but I don't know why I just didn't feel the need to bring what I needed to bloody bring with me I don't know so I actually had this which I never wear out <laughs> Yes, guys, I do like marble now, by the way. I actually have this with me, which is what I wore to bed. But I was like, okay, you know what? I might need to just put this on. And just in case I feel like it is cold outside, everyone I'm looking at has coats on. So I'm thinking I'm just going to have to put this on again, but put it on top as a sort of extra layer because i didn't bring any hoodies or jackets or cardigans or anything really and also i cannot be bothered to hold up an umbrella so i've got my lovely north face hat on <laughs> that's about it for now i really want to just take a picture in this room have it up for instagram if i can possibly take a decent one and then we're gonna leave and make our way to breakfast or brunch or lunch i don't really know what we're doing <laughs> Here is a super quick room tour. This is the bathroom. The door is there. The wardrobe is here. Got a little luggage cart and drawers. TV, the kettle. Well, not the kettle. Well, the kettle was in here. There's tea bags and everything in there. Um, little desk and a bed. And here's the window. So, gonna make my way out now. Feel the waves cut through me Hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing in Hold tight, hold tight Can't make coast collide Hold tight, hold tight, hold tight Dripping lights paint the sky with some breakfast it was so good i definitely recommend it it's called flat white coffee shop <laughs> i don't know it's called flat white basically but um yeah it was really good and then i just popped into the shop and bought myself a durham hoodie because my brother goes there so 
why not? I'm also gonna get myself one from Brunel. And now we're just gonna go over to the cathedral and I think the palace as well. So I'll show you guys. So right now we're just walking along the riverside. We need to go to my brother's flat again, just one last time before we make our way back home. But there's just a lot of um, hills in Durham. So most of the time you're either going uphill or you're going like downhill, like right now. Aside from that, I don't mind it. <laughs> Thank you. 